Hi guys, welcome back to another show with Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. And what we're making today is going to be Keto Baja Fish Tacos. Yum, yum, this is gonna be really good. So stick around and we'll go through our recipe. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be making is our coleslaw. And today we have a different recipe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about one third of a full head of cabbage and I'm going to thinly slice it. And I'll show you that now. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the outer leaves and the things that I don't want to eat. And then we're going to thinly slice one third of the cabbage. Now we're going to take about three green onions and we're going to cut them on an angle and we're going to cut them short. The next thing we're going to do is thinly slice one half of a red onion. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to separate it in the bowl. Now we're going to stir that up and then we're going to julienne one apple. The next thing we're going to add is one half cup of chopped cilantro. Then go ahead and mix that up and make your dressing. Get out a medium sized mixing bowl and then add one half cup of apple cider vinegar. Next add one half cup of olive oil. Add one tablespoon of sugar-free maple syrup. Now add one half teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Start it to combine and then add one quarter of a whole jalapeno and chop that up and add it to your dressing. Now add two tablespoons of lime juice. Add one tablespoon of minced ginger. And then your last ingredient is one cup of mayonnaise. Now go ahead and whisk that together and pour it over your coleslaw and then put it in your fridge to marinate. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the batter, which is a wine batter, for the fish in order to deep fry the fish. So the first ingredient we're going to start with is one half cup each of almond and coconut flour. The next ingredient is one farm fresh egg, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of ground black pepper, one tablespoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of ground mustard, one half teaspoon of cumin, one half teaspoon of ground coriander, one quarter teaspoon of cayenne, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one cup of dry white wine, one half cup of zero calorie, zero sweetener, zero sodium seltzer, You guys can't see it, but what I did is I used a full cup and I just poured in half of a cup of seltzer. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pot on the stove, turn the burner up to medium high, and I'm going to add all, I'm going to add oil to it to get it ready for the fish. Now 
And for the fish, what I'm using is tilapia. And for the fish, what you're going to do is rinse it under cold water, and then you're going to pat it dry with a paper towel. Now we're going to cut the tilapia into bite-sized pieces, and for this one I'm using is my kitchen scissors. I did want to mention that with the batter, I did add water to thin it out. If you find that it's not going to stick too well, you can always add one half teaspoon of xanthan gum. So I put my fish in the batter, and now it's in the deep fry, and I'll show you what it looks like. And that's how my pieces are coming out. Now the pieces that just came out of the deep fry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to douse those in hot sauce. And for that, what I'm using is Valentina because it's low in sodium. I just wanted to show you guys that my pieces did come out brown in case you were wondering because it is gonna be covered with the hot sauce. So they do come out brown. You just have to keep them in a little bit longer. Don't worry about it if it flakes. Like I said, if you wanna add xanthan gum to it to make it more of a binding agent so it really sticks to it, that might be a good idea, but it came out pretty good. And just as a reminder, I'm sure you guys already know, you just want to wait until the fish cools down. And this is what it looks like doused in hot sauce. And those are all of my fish pieces for the Keto Baja fish tacos. Mmm, they look so good. Next, we're on to the chipotle sauce that we're gonna drizzle over top of the fish. Oh my gosh, yum, yum, yum. So you're gonna take a large container, a large bowl, and you're going to scoop in one cup of mayonnaise. Next, add two tablespoons of lime juice. Now it's three tablespoons of tomato sauce. And for the tomato sauce, what I had done is just thawed some of the tomato sauce that I had pureed the other day um, so that I could reuse it because I had frozen it. Next, add one tablespoon of stevia, one teaspoon of oregano, one half teaspoon of salt and pepper, one teaspoon of cumin, one quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, one eighth teaspoon of allspice, one tablespoon of olive oil, one and one half tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon each of garlic and onion powder, and lastly chop up one clove of garlic and add it to your sauce. Go ahead and add a little bit of water to your sauce just to thin it out. And next what I'm going to do for the last and final ingredient is, it's not really an ingredient, but I'm gonna warm up the low carb tortillas in a dry pan and I'm going to flip it over so it's gonna be brown on both sides and a little bit crisp. And that's what I'm going to use. And um, you guys already know how to do that. So I will take video of the entire meal. And also, before I do that, let me just taste this. Well, that's good. That's going to be a nice rendition to the meal. I just wanted to mention really quick that the other day I received a bag from the Aspen Food and Wine. And this is it. Bravo Top Chef. So it's actually really cool that I received this bag. Very happy about that. So to assemble, what I'm going to do is take the tortilla. I'm going to put the fish on it. And then I'm going to put the coleslaw on it. And I'm going to drizzle the sauce. And I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so let's see if we can do this without making a mess. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, so 
So good. We'll show you a shot. All right, guys, this has been a really fun show of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I know I am. And have a great one. I'll see you next time. Bye.